I need to know how Skynet gets built. Who's responsible? The man most directly responsible is Miles Bennett Dyson. Who is that? He's the director of special projects at Cyberdyne Systems Corporation. Why him? In a few months, he creates a revolutionary type of microprocessor. Go on. Then what? In three years, Cyberdyne will become the largest supplier of military computer systems. All stealth bombers are upgraded with Cyberdyne computers, becoming fully unmanned. Afterwards, they fly with a perfect operational record. The Skynet funding bill is passed. The system goes online on August 4, 1997. Human decisions are removed from strategic defense. Skynet begins to learn at a geometric rate. It becomes self-aware at 2.14 a.m. Eastern Time, August 29th. In a panic, they try to pull the plug. Skynet fights back. Yes. It launches its missiles against the targets in Russia. Why attack Russia? Aren't they friends now? Because Skynet knows that the Russian counterattack will eliminate its enemies over here. Jesus. So I was talking to him about ChatGPT and about the things I was telling you on the AI front. And he's just developed a chip that's optimized for AI and he told me about it about a, two months ago and he said, you heard of the internet? And I said, yes, Jim, I've heard of the internet. He said, I said, uh, well, my chip's way more revolutionary than that. And he's designed all the chips in your iPhones, by the way, so this isn't a person to take lightly. And, all the chips that Intel used. And then he went to AMD and made a bunch of chips that competed against his chips at Intel successfully. And then he went back to Intel and made a bunch of chips that competed against his AMD chips. And this is Jim. And so he's been telling me what's been unfolding on the AI front. Jim Keller, you can see a podcast I did with him recently with Jonathan Pajot, where we were trying to sort out whether AI is the rough beast that's slouching towards Jerusalem. And so, you can check that out, but he, he, he came up with a proposition for me based on this chat GPT. He said his AI models built to generate photorealistic movies in no time flat, including real-time video interfaces of a given person that are indistinguishable in voice and appearance from the person. So he said, why don't we build a replica of you and then train it on everything you've said and written, and then you can interview it on your YouTube channel. And I said, well, how long will that take? And he said, about three months. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. So, um, uh, now would be where you should go read 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4, and make sure you're right with the Lord. 